and I hope it pleases our law at the same time. Um, I, uh, I converted, I'd like to start out saying in the name of Allah, um, most gracious, most merciful. But I converted uh, last December to Islam and my journey began, I guess, about three years ago. And uh, In a nutshell, I went through some situations that were, that kind of changed my life physically and, and changed my life mentally through work and through um, some accidents, some car wrecks I had. So, after I realized that I would die eventually, uh, I started studying a lot and I started working a lot. And I, I, I basically concentrated most of my time working and studying. And I read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations, and, and after I read it, I had a concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His oneness and how that oneness sort of changed in the New Testament from after the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, how that oneness sort of changed. And I was convinced of, uh, of that oneness. And I went to a Catholic teacher, and the Catholic teacher told me I was I was nuts, and I needed to re I needed to study some more. So I studied some more, and I almost started joining the Catholic Church. And I, I realized that uh, at some point there, Allah led me to read His book. And I when I read the book, it did feel like the Last Testament. So I I, I did convert, and it's been a long journey, and I'm happy to be here. Be honest, and, and the improvements I've made, and I feel in my personality, I think I'm more can attest to that. That it, the, the religion does work, and it's simple, objective. They're obj almost like objective miracles, you could call them. The Quran is an objective miracle, and it's nice. It's nice to have healing. It's nice to be able to be a part of a community that you have support. And I'm very, I'm very thankful. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to mention, and that is, I felt like the story you hear of the of the Israelis coming out of out of uh, Egypt and into the desert and into the Promised Land. I feel like that story is you can see that through history. And you can see that through biographies, that same story. And it, the story might repeat. And we never really know where we are in that, in that, you know, I kind of feel like I'm in the desert. Uh, um, but, you know, we really don't know where we are. I feel that story applies to everyone. Everyone has a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we got to kind of figure out where we are. And are we under the thumb of the Egyptians? Are we in the desert? Um, and sort of work on our relationship where we can eventually make it to the promised land here and and in and, and now. But uh, I hope this encourages people. I, I really want people to, if any, take anything out of this message of me. Uh, if you can get anything from this, then it would be to, to serve mankind and to improve yourself and to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.